Welcome to another episode of I Make Puffing Billy for Transport Fever 2. You are now probably getting quite bored of these, so I'll make it quick. This is not a long video. In this episode, we try and texture Puffing Billy. Now, you're not going to see a whole lot because I forgot to uh, change the way it was recording, so you're just seeing the model viewer. What I've done here is I've imported the texture from my Locomotion number 1 mod straight onto top of Puffing Billy to see just how it looked, and it actually looked okay. I was kind of tempted to keep it like that, but uh, had a look at some reference images for Puffing Billy, and it's a very much greyed out engine. Even in its uh, when it was as new, the wood was a lot darker and it was a lot colier than Locomotion number 1 was, and in general, a lot older. And if you look at the one in the Science Museum now, like for some reason, all old engines, they've gone sort of brownie black, like Rocket, Samurai, Puffing Billy, they're all just for some reason gone black. I don't know why. A lot of engines do that when they get older, yes. So, what you can't see right now is I'm just trying to find all the bits that are red, which shouldn't be red, and make them the appropriate colour. Made the beams black. Well, I really wish I recorded this pot please. It's not very interesting. We'll wind it forward as fast as we can. There we go. I made it green. You can see you've got the age and the colouring. This is not an interesting video. Come on. I, I, at some point I figure out I've recorded it wrong, and I go back and you can see what I'm doing in paint. And I, I, I text in paint.net by the way because I'm such a professional. Don't use GIMP. Uh, I've, I've got it, just never used it. You see, I'm trying to see how dirty it looks. It looks okay. That that's pretty much how it looks in game. <sighs> Come on, load up the bloody. I'm getting impatient with myself here. I can't imagine what my viewers are like. Come on. Still, well, I'm going to wind it for manually. Where do I figure it out? There we go. There we go, right, finally you can actually see something. So, I'm going through the colour maps here, so this is the uh, dirt and rust map. Right now I'm trying to make the engine get more dirty uh, to simulate the one that's in the science museum now. So I'm just trying to figure out why it's not dirty. I uh, put a layer of the wood across it so there's some pattern to its dirtiness. There we are. So let's see, yeah, it gets a lot dirty, it gets a lot grimy. We don't want it to get dirty. It's a colliery engine, it uses its uh, stuff to pull coal around, so it's going to get filthy, isn't it? Mostly black. Wood clad boiler, it's gonna get filthy, filthy, dirty thing. That's all we get. That's all, that's all you're getting? No, okay, you're getting some gameplay too. I forgot I recorded these actually last night, I'm voicing over them again. So we're loading up, I uh, have to go for a new game because one of the mods actually got deleted from the workshop in the in the interim of recording these parts, which meant I can't load up my old save games. So I'm just gonna create a new map just for testing. Oh, this is fun, you get to watch me start playing Transport Fever. I will do a Let's Play at some point, a very very low quality one uh, so it's best to watch in 360p on your phone at night I guess rather than on a big TV because uh, it'll be really really blurry and it'll just hurt your eyes so I'm kind of happy with that map, too many towns though, oh my goodness I was recording, <laughs> what time was it when I was recording this? obviously too late for me to actually care what I was doing add Puffin Billy, add all my mods, take off the broad gauge add on all the Killer Kansas mods just in case I played the map through, add everything as assets uh, add the smoke reduction mod and uh, add the cargo and take out my bridge mod. There we go, we're all good. And we're going to start the game. Can't go back to 1830 or 1820. I wish you could. I wish you could change the date to be earlier than 1850. Really, really do. But uh, urban games, obviously, you know, railway history in their area didn't start until 1850. So there we are. It's much quicker loading when you're playing it back at four times speed. To race against time, will I finish recording this video before my laptop runs out of battery and turns off? Who knows? Nobody knows. Looking around the map, come on, stop flying around the map, find somewhere to build your engine so you can show people off. There's three farms there, so I'm going to use it for grain. I will go back there at some point, looking at all the places that accept food. And there we are, so I'm going to use this grain thing, so I'm going to just go and wang a station here. There we go, I'm just going to go find another one over there. At this point, I should be putting the engines down to make sure they look okay, but I get a bit carried away with my grain enterprise. Put that down there. Just create a, a simple track. Come on. There we go. Put a depot in. Bang. And the dirt is gone. There's Puffin Billy. And there's the cauldron wagon. It's actually appeared now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slow it down. Oh. Way too much slowing down. So you can see here, amongst the pixels, if you squint. God, that is low quality. I need to change. I need to have a look at the settings. You can see it's got number one on the side. And the wagons say, while and Kalu, then L indicating a full load. And also that little speck on the side says 400, 400, 100 weight, which uh, is a Victorian thing. But the wagons look a lot better than they're doing here. They definitely take up more than eight or so pixels. It's like, it's like watching a JPEG, isn't it? 
It's that low quality. It's like, wow, this is what a JPEG would look like if it could move. And then recording it again, I've no idea what the quality coming out of my laptop is right now. It's, it's probably, you can't really even see this. No, welcome to my podcast. You know, I don't know why I'm doing this now. It's in the game. This is the completed mod. Just got to make sounds for it. If I do make another video, it's me grabbing sounds, but the sound sets, they're, they're boring. It's just me browsing through various, various sources to try and find the actual sounds of the actual engine so you can hear it go in real time. Um, I'm probably going to call it as an end there because my laptop's going to run out of battery any second now. I am upstairs hibernating in the bedroom recording this. So I hope you enjoyed this mini series on uh, Puffin Billy. Uh, I probably will do more recordings of me modding in future, just not so extensive as this. I'll do little things like how I make 3D models. I'm planning on, uh, I think you're doing LMS Crab. So I've got an old model of that from Transport Fever 1. I might record me updating that to the spec of Transport Fever 2. Anyway, I'm glad you stuck around. And if you have watched all these videos, let me know. Do you want to make a mod now? And if you want to make a mod, which one do you want? What, what engine would you make? It doesn't have to be a real one. If you could design your own engine, would you? And would you make it as a mod? That's something I'm tempted to do, is design my own Steam engine and make it available for people to use. Would everyone download that if I did? I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, keep safe. Don't get ill. No one wants that. Especially the nurses, because it's more work for them.